Hello and welcome back. This is the video series of visual programming with Java using NetBeans. My name is Samer Audi, and in this lesson we will learn about loops, but we will also get exposed to random number generations and the switch statement. In general, loops are control statements that allow you to repeat a certain block of code. Uh, loops can also be called repetition statements and there are different types of loops. For example, there is the for loop, the while loop, the do while loop and so on. This lesson will focus on the for loop. So what is a for loop? It is a counter controlled repetition statement, uh, which means I can use a counter to tell my program how many times to repeat a certain block of code. Okay. Let us see this in action. I will go ahead and create a new project. It's a Java desktop application, and it's a basic application that I will call for loops. Okay, and I will say finish. All right, so I will just make some adjustments over here, and the output. Okay, what I need right now is to generate a random number and the way that we do that is uh, to use the uh, Java method of random number generation. Um, I will do that using the math class that has a method called random and I will have a button. So I will start by putting a button on my form and I will also need a text area. This will house my results. Okay, so this basically looks okay. This is what I need. I'll go ahead and start coding. Now what I need to do is just to change the name of my button, my variable. And I will just say change variable name here. and. I will call it random button. Uh, you might have seen already two different conventions in, uh, in naming that I've used so far. For example, I've used earlier something like btn random, and now I'm using random uh, capital B button. Um, th these are just simply different naming convention, and I'm simply going to stick to the NetBeans naming convention from now on. Okay, so I will also change here to random. Okay, and I will start programming this button so that something will happen when I click it. It's definitely an event, and I want to invoke the action performed. All right, so I need to program in here as you remember before. Um, what I need is a uh, an integer value so I will create a variable called value of the int type and I need a string called output and this is equal to basically an empty uh, string okay right now what I will do I will generate a random number using the random method of the math class. Uh, this will generate a double and I need to cast it into an integer and put it in value. And then I put value in output and simply display it. All right, let us start. So I will say value, which is an integer, is equal to one plus, I need to cast into an integer. This is how we cast in uh, Java. So I'm casting the output of this, which is the random number generator. So the math class dot, I will use its random method. Okay, this will generate a double. And basically what I'm doing is generating a random number between one and this number right here that I will select, let us say 100. So 
This will generate a random number between 1 and 100 and uh, it is casted into a, uh, an integer and put into the variable value. Okay, right now I need to put this into output and then put output in my text area. So let us go ahead and do that. Output, the string, is equal to uh, string dot value of and I have my integer in here so it is recognized okay and I will go ahead and test it run main project okay go ahead and generate a number okay of course I forgot to uh, put it in the text area so it might have actually uh, uh, created a number but I don't know off of it because I did not display it I simply forgot to so I will go and say um, the name of the text area let's take a look at the design this is my text area by the way and again I want to call it my output or out text area okay and go back to the source and say my out text area dot if you remember from last time set text is simply output I think it's much better now let's go ahead and try so this is a random number generated between 1 and 100 I can try 70, 54, 26, and so on. Okay, so it's working, and I can test the range. So I will say instead of 100, let's say between 1 and 20, and I run my project again. 17, 14, 17, 6, and so on. Okay, so this is how I generate random numbers in Java. Okay, now the next step is uh, I want to do more of this. I want to actually generate more than one number at a time. So what is the technique? How do I do that? Well, I can simply call this line right here many times, right? So maybe I can say uh, value. Okay, I will copy this. And again, I'll put it into output, of course. So I will copy this and say so you generated the first number, you put it into output, you generated another number, but here I have a problem. I am actually, when I say output is equal to whatever value is, I am overriding the first output. To uh, correct this, I simply need to say output is equal to the original output plus the new value. And the shortcut to do that is the plus equal. So this is like saying output is equal to output plus value okay so right now the first time I put the first value the second time what if I want to generate let's say five uh, random numbers so two three four five and of course it will not look nice now because all of them will be generated next to each other so I could have just simply put a, a line break between them. So I can simply say here, plus, how do I do a line break? What's the escape character for that? If you remember, backward slash N. So right now I can use this. And every time I add to the output, I actually add a new line, a new line, a new line and a new line okay 